Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Well, the gigantic storm system, the big nor'easter up just off the coast of New England. Uh, I'll talk more about that in detail in just a second as it slowly makes its way to the north and even to the northwest a little bit. Circulation around the upper level low, which is basically right on top of North Carolina mountains, slowly pushing off to the northeast. Giving us a northwesterly flow, that means rain and snow showers, especially along the Tennessee and North Carolina line. And with downsloping winds coming off the mountains, later on this evening we'll start to... Uh, Scour out these clouds east of the mountains. So in the upstate, we'll gradually see clearing skies. But before then, we could see a sprinkle or two in the upstate at best. Probably doesn't even look like a light shower, probably just a couple sprinkles. And now the rain showers are quickly changing over to snow showers, especially in the North Carolina counties uh, that right along the Tennessee line, as you can see. Uh, zooming in even a little bit tighter, some snow showers now in the eastern part of. Madison County and some snow showers just north of you folks in Waynesville, but some of these snow showers could move off to the southeast and drift into you folks a little bit later on. Also around Bryson City, you've looked at a couple of rain and snow showers, but mainly snow in the higher elevations and especially on the west facing slopes and along the Tennessee line. 40 right now in Clayton, 42 degrees currently in Clarksville. It's 45 degrees in Decoa, 46 in Cardinsville and in Hartwell, 47 degrees in Elberton. It's cold through western North Carolina, as you can see, 31 right now in Burnsville, also in Waynesville, 33. In Bryson City, it's also 33 in Silva, 34 in Brevard, upper 30s in Asheville, also in Hendersonville, 46 currently in Rutherfordton, and 41 in Columbus. Low to mid to upper 40s in the upstate, ranging from 43 degrees right now in Pickens to 48 degrees in Lawrence, also 48 degrees in Greenwood. It is chilly outside, especially with that north to northwesterly breeze at 5 to 15 miles per hour and gusty from time to time in the mountains. And that's where we have more humidity in the mountains of North Carolina back into North Georgia. At temperatures, you can see how cold it is in the deep south. 50 right now in Atlanta. It's only 41 in Chattanooga, 41 in the Tri Cities in Bristol, and it's 45 in Wilmington. 48 degrees along the Grand Strand in Myrtle Beach. So there's the big nor'easter just slowly making its way northward. The good news, there's good news and bad news. Good news is the fact that it's so close to the coast that it's bringing in the moisture, but it's also bringing in milder temperatures off the Atlantic. So the big cities like Boston, New York City, is just going to see a lot of wind and a lot of rain, and it'd be flooding problems. But it's got to go farther inland, especially in the higher elevations of the mountains in New England. That's where you're going to see the heaviest snow over the next several days. At midnight tonight, snow showers continue mainly along the North Carolina Tennessee line. That'll continue through tomorrow morning, but by afternoon, things start to slack off. This is at noon tomorrow. Notice that storm hasn't moved hardly at all. Up and just off the coast of New England for us, plenty of sunshine, but unseasonably chilly temperatures for us again tomorrow. Sprinkles, maybe. Otherwise, clearing skies in the upstate overnight low around the freezing mark, just a slight chance of those sprinkles. Scattered rain and snow showers, a 50% chance in the mountains overnight, low 28 degrees. For tomorrow in the Asheville, Hendersonville area, scattered mainly morning snow showers, windy, high 39 degrees. Plenty of sunshine in the Greenville, Spartanburg, Anderson area, but a chilly breeze out of the northwest at 7 to 13 miles per hour and gusty. Still unseasonably chilly on Thursday with sunshine, then seasonably cool Friday all the way through the upcoming weekend. Next storm system won't arrive until a week from today. Otherwise, four day plus for the Asheville Hendersonville area. Once we get by tomorrow's storm system, a slow warming trend with dry conditions as we head into the weekend.